Hi there! Welcome to Mercy's House and Crafting with Kids. We are going to make another Father's Day craft today. Yes, we are using these mugs here that we have bought and we are going to put stickers on. We have different ones with the letters or the hearts or the stars. We're going to place them on and then we're going to take these markers, these paint markers, and color over the whole thing. And we've got some little stenciled letters here. Um, I love you, Dad, or we can just put Dad, or just put their names on it. Um, then we're going to color it, and then we're going to stick it in the oven so that the paint sticks to the mug, and he'll be good to go and drink his coffee. So Father's Day is this coming Sunday, and we want to honor our kids' dads by um, allowing the kids and helping them to make some special and very personalized presents. So here we go. Let's get started. Alright, everybody get some one. Here's one for you. Melody, there's one for you. So right now, Melody, what this says is, it says, I love you, Dad. Um, we can just write dad, or we can write I love you dad, or we could write dad on one side, or we could write daddy, we could write you on the other side. You want to write daddy on there? Or just write dad. Or you want to write I love you? too many words for this low cup. Can we? Melody wants to write I love you dad, you're the best. But that's kind of a lot of words. So we're going to narrow it down a little bit. Hey, Lily, what are you doing? Dad, I love you. Dad, I love you is good. Yes. So how about if we start with your stickers? Daddy yes. wants to write, Dad, I love you. So we're going to do D. I want to do. Can you get the sticker off of the back of the A there? I love you. Lily, what do you want to write in your cup? Um, do you want to write Daddy? 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 Do you want to write Melody? Yeah! <laughs> okay. Melody, do Let's that split. one right here. And then your Dina. Oh! Sorry, I'm going to put your water on here. Melody, can you turn the cup this way a little bit? Where are your stickers? Did you put them all back? Where did you put? Oh, these are yours. She was smelling them. Oh, do they smell good? They do. Lily yeah. wants to write Daddy. Right. <laughs> and Lily. Hello. Do you want to put your name? Yeah. And Daddy's name? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to write D. Yeah. Where's our A, Lily? Is that the A right there? Look, Mommy. There. Look at it. Oh my goodness. That is so cute. It's so Rachel. Can I see? Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. What does that say, Melody? Dad. Yeah. D A. Okay. You got I love Dad on I, hers. I have a So, Mercy wanted to put on hers. No, and now we are going to just green and blue. stick some hearts on and some this stars. I want some you. hearts on the back. I want them. And your eye right there. Can you do that? Mm -hmm. All right. It takes this, a little while because this you have says, to. Dad, I love you. It, sa yeah. it says, I love you. But see, you already put Dad. So now we're going to write, I love you around the side, okay? I love you. Mercy, can I see yours again? No. Show them yours. No. Here we go. So we've got, I love dad. And the other side, we're putting hearts. And, oh, can I stick it where there's not one? All right, all right. right. Look at the hearts for your name. Can I put a star on? Oh. right there. Lily, what are you doing? Um, what's next? Are you smelling what's them? Next? Yeah. Do, they smell? Do they smell I good? Now it's L O V E. So take a space. V E. V -E. So take a space here and do L O V E. So I'm looking for Lily's letters and I think we might have to snatch somebody else's L's. Hey mom, can you tell people what we're doing? Yeah. So we are making Father's Day mugs and they, we actually will be removing the stickers. So they're decorating them with stickers. 
And then they're going to take this one on. these whoa, <coughs> painter's markers and color over the entire cup in whatever patterns they want. And then we remove the stickers so that you can read the message to dad. And so we thought that it was really special to make their daddies a, their daddies, their daddy, a really special treat for our Father's Day. And since daddy loves coffee and loves tea, we thought that the mugs were a really good idea. So I'm trying to find Lily's letters for her name, but I'm having a hard time. Alicia says, so cute. Thanks, Alicia. Aww. Aww. I think this is this hey, is kind Lily. of a fun little craft. Hi. Does anybody know where any L's are? We all use the word love. I think we're only maybe one L. Oh, is that what it is? That's why we don't have L's. Well, yeah. We're going to skip Lily's, Lily's name. Then. Lily, let's put some, some stickers on your cup. You want to put stickers on your cup? I like stickers. Okay, so here's Lucy's decoration. What did you say? Uh, Bobby says, how do you make them with washable, sorry, make them washable with stickers? Well, we're actually, after we color with these painter's markers, we're going to remove all the stickers. And then we're going to bake them in the oven. I have to check the temperature. I think it's at 400 for 30 minutes. And then they should be washable by hand, but probably not in the dishwasher. So we will be removing the stickers. So Lily, look, put your stickers on your cup. Rachel says, a great idea. Going to have to do it. Awesome. Yay! Okay, Melody is still writing, I love you. Melody, can I see And yours? Lily, do you want to put some... Let me see it. Do you want to put some stars on Daddy's cup? Wow. <laughs> Do you want to put some stars? Here, you stick it on for Mommy, okay? Let me see. Stick it on your cup. Are you coloring yours? Right there. We're waiting for the paint to come out. Oh, here oh, it comes, here Mercy. Job. Oh, how's it working? Well, the paint's coming out. Okay, okay. Mercy, are you ready? Bobby says, so the stickers are just yeah. stencils. Yes. They are. They're actually... Thank you, Bobby. Nice I am not the crafting queen, but as you can see by Kristen okay. Jones' cup, she is the crafting queen. <laughs> Mommy. Okay. I like Mommy. the idea of crafting. She is actually good at doing it. So we can actually go ahead and try here to make the letters. And then I'm going to give it to her. Bobby says, that's a really good idea. Love it. Aww. Oh, thanks, Bobby. Okay. Okay. So now I'll just get on the inside and let you start to color. Can you color now, okay? Melody is almost done writing Dad. I nope, love. Do you want to put you down here? Like right there, maybe? Y O U. Melissa says, Where did you get the mug? Does it need to be a specific kind? Well, that was a great question. Um, I know that porcelain mugs can definitely go in the oven. I saw them for about $5 at Walmart. The instructions that we're using call for ceramic mugs, which we got at Walmart. We are hoping that they don't crack in the oven. So, Giving it a good shot. Wow, Lily's here. Oh, Yours look looks it. Really pretty. We need to put more stickers on your cup, okay? Do you want to put? She's gotten all the stickers off of the plastic, but not on the cup. Good job. Let's put some on the back. Lily, can I see it? It's so pretty. Wow. Do you want more stars too for Daddy? Yeah. All right. <laughs> can you put this one? Let me do it. Mom. All right. Let me do that. Yay! This is so much fun. Mommy, oh I my! Mommy, I'm going to go around her letters. Is, so this is a little bit less time-consuming than I anticipated with the the coloring because if we don't color right up around the letters, then we won't be able to read our words. So, yeah. Yeah. So I'm just gonna go around her letters myself, and then I'll let her color. Yeah. You okay, Mercy? I got all of these supplies at Walmart. I'm actually beginning to really enjoy the Walmart craft section. They seem to pretty much have everything that we need at any time I go. All right, Lily, we're going to start coloring. I'm done. All right, you want to color with a marker, big girl? Look, Mommy. Let's start. Let's see. Which one do you want to start Mommy? with? Wow. Yay. It says, Dad, I love you. Dad, I love you. 
Now, can you put some stars and hearts on yours too? Yeah. <laughs> Melissa says you could also look at the dollar store oh. called Dollar Tree if you are on a limited budget. They have I awesome want stuff that too. Color. We love Dollar Tree. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and honestly, I had not thought of craft of getting craft supplies there. What did I buy at the Dollar Tree? We just went on Saturday for a little outing and I gave each of the kids two dollars and we had to get the fun things there. Uh, Casey says, what kind of paint and mugs? Okay, so these are ceramic mugs from Walmart and that was what our instructions were, were you know, we did not, we haven't tried this, so hopefully they won't crack. There are mugs at Walmart for like $4.95 that say that you can put them in the oven up to 450 degrees. So those are probably the ones that might want to try. Right, but I think that these are going to be, I think that these are going to work okay. just fine. Here, let's go on for hands. Does it just take a while for the paint to come out, Chris? Yeah, you have to hold it down. Oh, I'm getting impatient. Okay, wait, did you shake it good? Oh, I didn't shake it. Woo, there shake we go. Hold it down, there you go. So I'm going to go ahead and outline, um, kind of scribble around. I want to take the middles out of the letters. What? I don't think that they cut. Did your middles cut? Yeah. Oh, they did. Oh, no. That's okay. It's I told you. Them. You might I'm, pull it out. I'm not Miss Craft. Oh, there we go. I love the idea of crafting. And then I start doing it, and I'm not very good at it. That's why we all have buddies. The cool thing about stuff like this is you actually don't have to be good at crafts. You don't have it's to be good at what they want to do. For really, their day. Are you the backs off of all of them. Mm. Lily just always has fun with the glitter or the stickers or whatever it is and that we're doing. The paints. Now tomorrow at 11 a.m. on Kidcasts, and please like our page. We would love it if you like our page so that you can see more of this really fun stuff. Tomorrow we're going to be making hey. some really neat t-shirts and I think the kids are going to have a fun time oh, oh. because they get to get on the tea. Oh. <laughs> Winda says, great job guys. I did this too with my daughter and nieces two days ago. She was from Indonesia. Oh, wow. Hey, that is so neat. You know, it's also good. We have some comments. Wow. Um, <laughs> yeah, Mercy uh, kind of started scribbling all around, so I'm just oh. trying to help on her put yeah. color on here as much as possible. Yeah. So, Chris and I have another show on um, Thursday nights from 8.30 to 9.30 Eastern Time or 7.30 to 8.30 Central Time. And um, that is called PM. Mm -hmm. Really, we are not doing a show at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Um, so there's evening, and that is mommy talk. We actually don't have the kids with us, and we talk about some issues at hand and for moms, and we've got some really fun topics this week. I need to use it. Okay, and let me tell you, Kristen and I actually need your help. Definitely more than you need our help. So we hope that you'll join us. I'm there, going to do it. Well, I'm going to let you do it, but we have to get the paint out first. See, it like takes a minute. Jessica says, hi, you're awesome. She hi, says, Jessica. I you love are it. awesome, too. She says, I love you all. This is a great idea. Awesome. I'm going to do this with my daughter. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Thanks, Jessica. You know, part of the, I know. Thank you, Jessica. Part of the reason that we're doing this, I have to be completely, completely honest. It's that I always have, like, I'm a homeschooling mom, and I have these really grand ideas for, you know, I'm going to do crafts twice a week. Ha, ha, ha. And then life gets in the way, and we don't do them. And so I thought, if I hold myself accountable by doing this fun little live stream, then we kind of kill two birds with one stone. And we get to socialize with you ladies, and we get to make crafts with our kids. And they're actually really starting to look, not starting, they really look forward to the crafting days. So, Lily, you get to color in a minute. Bobby says, our son made my husband a mug last year at school like this. We made the mistake of putting it in the dishwasher and all his artwork was gone. So don't put them in the dishwasher. Okay, thank, thank you. you, thank you. I'm gonna have to like tell everybody in my house that. Angela asked, what kind of markers are you using? These are called painter's markers. And to be honest, because I'm not a crafty sort of person, I didn't even know what they were. But they're at Walmart, and at least at our Walmart, they're $1.95 a piece. So I was telling Kristen, I need a craft bucket because 
I don't want all of our glitter and stickers and markers to just sort of fall by the wayside. We would like to pull them out and use them again. Um, but I honestly, I actually think this is fun. I want to make my own. I'm, I'm sort of messy at this. I'm just trying to get it ready for Lily to color on. Melissa says, I will be watching Thursday because I have a mom issue that I would love your input on. Yes. yes. Melissa, what is it so that we can kind of plan yeah. in advance? If you let us know, we're going to plan because I've yeah. got a mom. I have two mom issues actually that I want to talk about. We are so excited to talk with you all on Thursday. You just don't even know. So we're waiting and waiting for Rachel to tell me. Rachel, my daughter, who's 17, has the, the camera. So. Okay. She's reading your comments. Yeah, 8.30 Eastern time. Oh, oh, you ready to no, how's yours going? Yeah, go ahead and okay. get it. Wow. Right. What are you doing, Maddie? You want to lay your cup down to color? Cause I, think, I think that the paint from your marker comes out better if, you, if you've got your cup down like that. Wendo says, a little piece of advice. Yeah. Use two different markers on the same yeah. mug. Sharpie and Faber Castell. It turned out after baking. One of them didn't stay as good as the other. I guess oh. each brand needs to look. What was it? Needs the, different temperatures. Do you know which one turned out better? Oh, I guess I'll wait a moment for your. Oh, uh, Melissa's there. issue is children shoplifting. What is it? Shoplifting? Oh. Mm -hmm. I'm familiar with that issue. Um, oh. So we will definitely. I, what age are we talking about, Melissa? Are we talking about six-year-old or thirteen-year-old? Or so oh, you, she you says, don't have to be specific. She says I started watching Kid Cast last Thursday and I'm hooked. Yay! <laughs> Woo! Mommy, we're so happy to have you. Yeah, it's so fun to have our kids in here with Rachel and us here in the studio having such a fun time with you guys. Yeah. All right, Lily, it's your turn. It's Mommy's turn to color. Can you color for mommy now? Mommy. Wow. All right. Yeah, that's pretty. Christy, can you watch her? Yeah. Oh my Melissa God. said it's one of her 13 year old twins. For me. Melissa, I've got to say this. Without giving away too many details, I'm a mom of seven. Um, from two, this is my baby, up to mm -hmm. 22. And we have dealt with a lot of issues. And I've got to say, like when my, when my older four were younger like this, parents of teenagers would talk and they'd say, I can't believe that my child is doing this or doing that. And I would think to myself, my child will never do that. Because I would think I'm so close to my kids and they're never going to do any of these things that, that parents are concerned that their kids are going to do when they're older. And then they do all of it. And then, that's my son, and then they do it all. Um, I'm not saying that every kid goes astray or anything like that. But they're human beings and they're growing up and they're experiencing life and sometimes they make decisions that are not healthy or decisions that you don't want them to make. And not to justify chocolate to things. Oh, yeah. Not to justify yeah. anything. But we're all walking this walk. And I'm, down, well, I'm not here to judge you, that's for sure. Because we have dealt with some things at my house. A, a different Melissa yeah. says, just stumbled across your page. Amazing. All the way from yeah. Northern Ireland. Oh, yeah. Northern Ireland. Happy wow. to have you. I wish I had a says, picture of where you are. Because Cassie it just says, hi beautiful. from New York. Oh, hi, hi, hi Cassie. Hi. That's so cool. What a great idea. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you for to watch, watch us. us. Please watch us and watch us on Thursdays. We're on at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Please join us. We have lots to talk about, lots to share with you, and we like to get a lot from you as well. So we can have a good conversation. Yeah. Seriously, we have one issue that we weren't able to cover last time that affects virtually every mother who ever has to put the in the car. So if you guys can help us out with that on Thursday night, we would be thrilled. Yes, and um, Melissa, we will be covering the shuffle yes. thing as well. We will definitely I look know. into that and talk about that on Thursday. Yeah. So please be there to comment on that. You know, there's so many issues. There was one mom who, um, whose child has been bullied. I think she said that he's 13 and he's been bullied since he was little. So yeah, there are just so, so many issues. Um, and I came across an article last night that I actually shared on KidCast. So if you're on KidCast right now, you can look at that article. Um, and we're going to talk about ways to keep your kids safe 
and not accidentally leave them in the car. I have to be honest, that's like one of my greatest fears is that a kid's going to climb in a car um, that's hot or whatever. So that's another thing that we're going to talk about. Uh, there are people saying hi from all over the place. Oh, hi, let's hear it. Let's hear it. North Carolina. We're like in the South. We yeah. have you guys. Arkansas, Mommy. Alabama, Oregon, Ooh, San Diego, oh my God, Alabama. Mommy. Nova Scotia, Nova Scotia. Uh, New Brunswick, Canada. Oh my goodness. It's so beautiful. Thank you guys for joining us. Yeah. It like, makes our day to have you here no. taking part in our, our fun crafting and we feel like we're making new friends and it's it's just really a fun time. Yeah, thank you yeah. for joining us. We would love it if you like our KidCast hey. page. If you're watching on Quirky Mama right now. If you just hit the kid cast so that you can actually um, like the page so that we can um, you know, keep up with you and you can keep up with us. And you know what? We would love to know more topics that you want to discuss as moms. Of course, we're not really discussing them right now on our uh, crafting with kids. Yes. But if you'll tune in on Thursday at 8.30 p.m., you will see us at 8.30 p.m. Eastern time. That's right. And you guys are like in all kinds of time zones. Claire says, Scotland, <laughs> come on, give us Scottish folks a shout out, Ma. Hey, Scotland. Hi, Scotland. We're so excited. Scotland. Mercy said, Scotland. Can you say Scotland, Mercy? Now I can say Scotland. Scotland. Do you know that there are people watching from all Scotland. over the world? Um, Utah, Nevada, Pennsylvania, Kentucky. Wow. Oh my goodness. Awesome. Wow. Thank, Thank you. Guys. Thank you. Seriously. Well, so why don't we just like coloring? Is there anything you guys want to talk about? Because the, you know, like our kids. Melody hasn't conked out. She's she's hanging in there. Melody, you are so good at coloring. Mercy, I'm not, do you want to color more? I'm not an artist. You're an artist? I do a lot of crafting and those paint markers will wash off. I use them to make Santa plates. Oh, can we wash them by hand? But let us know because well, and, and otherwise the oven, daddy's, the daddy's gonna be drinking out of really dirty cups unless we can wash these. Wow, South Africa is watching too. Yay, hey, South Africa! South Africa. <laughs> can you say South Africa? Hey. Say South? South Africa. So this is Mercy. She has got a trait. She was born not breathing, and when she was a day old, um, yay! they told us that she had a 90% chance of immortality. But as you can see, she hit those odds because she is up running around. And she's almost she, eight years old now. She is. She no moves out of a trait. Um, she's got some other health issues. She's actually got a very bad cold right now. On some, some significant uh, steroids, but um, she's doing great, and in fact, she's going to have surgery in probably late no. July to open up her airway, so maybe, just maybe she can get her trach out within the next year, so Mercy's life is pretty exciting right now, um, because she's had that trach in since she was a baby. This pink one is not coloring very beautifully. It's kind of she says you can wash them by hand, but do not allow them to soak and do not rub them hard. Okay, I know that my kids have made ceramic plates at one time in a class, and I put them all in the dishwasher, and they all came out beautifully sparkling white. Yeah. With nothing left on them, and I was so sad. Oh no! <laughs> it was kind of the great mommy disaster. Like I can't believe that you destroyed my artwork, mom. Yeah. There's so many comments I can't even keep oh, up with. Oh, read us some. We want to know. Yeah. Come on, just start reading. <laughs> Alrighty. So Melissa says Illinois here. Illinois. Uh, I was born in Illinois. Lived there till I was six. My husband too. Hi from Riverside, California. Hi, California. Hi, Riverside. Uh, someone says good job. Thank you. Hi from Columbia, Tennessee. Hi, Tennessee. You're doing great. Thank you. Some, <laughs> Cassie says, sounds like these are a drink and rinse type of cup. <laughs> I think maybe so. I'm thinking that Kristen is a better crafter than Chris D. I don't know. That would be Kristen over there. I'm uh, just helping Mercy out here. Yeah. We are coloring all over the place. We're I know. excited about taking our stickers off. Probably. I know, stickers. I know. 
I, I'm thinking like. Oh, this that, is the doctor. I'll be right back. Okay. Got a doctor. Can, can you say hi? Hi. Say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs> There's Lily. She's two. She's going to be three in July. And uh, we love kids. And you know what? We're I started KidCast just a few weeks ago because we um, want to celebrate kids. I think a lot of times we... Um, um, it really does. See, I'm getting more color on my my. Uh, there we go. Um, hi from Kyoto, Japan. Oh my goodness! Hi Japan! Oh my goodness! That is so exciting. So I think that as a mom with a lot of kids, and even if you have one kid, mommy, stay outside. Outside. You can go outside. You feel like you're being pulled in every direction. And if you're a stay-at-home mom, you have all this stuff to do. And if you're a working mom. You know, you're torn with working in your home, and, and I actually work from home, so then I'm trying to get all my work done, and my kids are here. And I think sometimes we just forget to celebrate children and their innocence and their fun. I was talking to my mom recently. That is so crazy. Cool. Oh, so <laughs> wow, can I see the whole cup? Cool, what does it say? What does it say? It says dad. Melissa says, hi from California. I own a daycare and we are making these Friday. Oh my goodness. Yay, Melissa. I'm getting it all over my hands. <laughs> anyway, um, I feel like we forget just how special our kids are. And so I was talking with my mom and I said, you know, I think one thing that I really, really love about kids every time I have a new child or I go on a walk with my kids is that you actually get to see life through your child's eyes and you kind of start remembering your excitement for life from when you were a kid and everything is exciting. You know, the day. You're going to do one special thing in the day and it's all that you can think about. And so for me, I think it's just really fun to be able to do things with our kids and to celebrate them and not just have them be what you know, some people consider them a burden. And I guess you can look at it that way, or you can really enjoy them. And so we are... Why not enjoy them? Yeah, I started KidCast so that we can um, enjoy our kids more Mommy. and encourage other people to do the same. Can I use purple? You may. Claire says, I have to go make my three little princesses some dinner, so oh. we'll check in again soon. So Yay. please see what found you all. Oh, uh, thanks, Thank Claire. You. I hope that you join us. Hey, we're back tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Thank so. Hi from India. This will be a wonderful idea when I start my own art studio. Oh, awesome. hi. Thank you for We're joining us out. from India. So we can go and take these off, right? Yeah. Right, so yeah. Kristen's going to start taking her shoes off. I this think is Mercy's cup. Coloring. So you have taken some off. See how beautifully that turned out? Mm -hmm. What should you do, Melody? Got the eye up here. Um, where's the purple? Do you know? The star. We need to color more See how this comes out quite to nicely. Your letters. So really, when you pick out your stickers okay. for your stencils, that's not the color you're going to be seeing. So if you're want whatever color you want to use, make sure you get that out of paint to pick up your paint color strategically. Carol says, "Think my grandkids will be excited." Okay, I got it. Oh. You bet. <laughs> so when we did our mom talk on Thursday night, oh, oh my gosh. I see you. We got a kitty. <laughs> we got some so grandmothers who wrote in who said, "Don't forget the grandmothers who are watching or raising their kids." So right. seriously, grandmas. Um, Big shout out to all those grandmothers. Shout out to grandmas who are watching their kids, or grandkids, or raising, raising their grandkids. Them. There are so many grandparents now that are raising the grandchildren, and we applaud you because that is a big job when you've raised your own to pick up and, and raise your grandkids, but boy, it's like life for your grandkids, so <laughs> good Mercy. job, grandparents. You want to show your cup off? Can I see it? Yay! Mercy's done with hers. Can I see it? Oh my goodness, look at how cute that is. That Melody, look what happens when you take your stickers off. Isn't that cool? Yay. You like? Hey, Kristen, can you start peeling off Lily's stickers? Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm, go, okay? I'm kind of coloring yeah. around Melody's. Yeah, let go. Um, uh -oh. What happened, Lily? She's stuck under the chair. Okay, Amanda says, I can't wait to make these with my kitties. Thank you for the idea. 
thank you, Amanda. Thanks for joining us. Brianna yeah. says, I love this idea. I'm going to do it with my babies. Thanks for the idea. Yay. You know, I found it, it's kind of hard sometimes to come up with presents for daddies because, like, you know, they get, usually they're not that demanding and they kind of have what they need. And when I was looking online, it seemed like virtually everything had to do with ties or golf or fishing. And I have to be honest, my husband rarely wears a tie. He doesn't play golf and he doesn't fish, but he does drink coffee. So. And he loves his children. And he loves his children. And this is just a fantastic time to applaud dads for being the good dads that they are. Take yours off. We're going to let yours dry. <laughs> just, that's already dry. I'm just going to blow on it. Really? What are you doing? These yeah. are so... to climb on mommy's back because she likes to be close all the time. Bobby says, mine doesn't do any of that stuff either, but loves his coffee. Well, we've got your solution for a Father's Day present. Right. And if you weren't happy with this one or it's not something that your husband would enjoy, we've got one tomorrow and it's something that every dad can enjoy. Uh, now you can start pulling your stickers off now if you want to, okay? Adriana says, oh, this is so cute. My dad loves coffee, so this is a great idea. Yay. Totally, totally doing this with my little sibling. Yay. Yay. That's fantastic. And you know what, too? If you don't do this for your dad right now, it's great for, like, birthday presents for grandparents because for grandparents, grandparents love personalized stuff. Grandparents usually have a full house and they have everything that they want, except for personalized little presents from their grandkids. So, can I see Kristen? Okay, so here's Lily. Oh, Lily so says, funny. Dad with hearts <laughs> all over it and stars. Lily, look at your cup. Look, Melody is taking her stickers off. So, you know what, Melody? We need to wait a minute on yours because yours. Okay, let me fix hers. I don't We've think the hers is dry all the way. Julie says, these are adorable and are oh, such no. a kid-friendly craft. It is a kid-friendly, and you know what? It's way better than glitter. If any of you guys were here last week when we did glitter, do you know what happened after that? Literally. Uh, we had so much fun, and then I went out of the kitchen for a few minutes. When I came back, Lily had gotten three bottles of glitter and dumped them on the floor and was jumping and throwing them in the air and they were coming down and literally Melody still has glitter in her hair. She does. My entire floor now sparkles. Thankfully I don't mind. I mean some people would probably mind but uh, that's the fun that we have with glitter so I'm thankful for not so messy of a craft today. And you know a few weeks ago we made uh, cake pops so if you go on Kid Casts Remember to like our page and um, look up the Angry Birds Cake Pops. That was sort of a riot, but they turned out adorable and delicious. So remember to like our page, like Kid Casts. And um, if you guys have anything that you want us to talk about on Thursday night for Mommy Talk, message us on Kid Casts. Things that are in your heart, mommy kinds of issues. <laughs> Um, last time we talked about weight loss, right, Kristen? Yeah. And uh, we're all kind of holding each other accountable for uh, sort of a healthy lifestyle. And this week we're talking about uh -oh. Thursday night at 8.30 Eastern Time. We're going to talk about uh, safety, summer safety, like with hot cars. We're going to talk about shoplifting. Um, shoplifting, about in particular kids shoplifting, um, young teenagers. And we're going to talk about bullying. We're going to talk about bullying. And we always do one thing where I plan something really crazy for Kristen to do, and she has no idea what it is until that <laughs> moment. That's right. So I have to think of the wildest, craziest, funnest, most embarrassing thing that I can have Kristen do last Thursday week. night. Last week I did a um, 50s dance. dance, and I had no clue what I was doing, but I did it. She did it because she is she a was. really great dancer because she's a lot of fun. I am she's, fun. She's <laughs> not as inhibited as I am, so she can just get out there and have fun. So join us Thursday night at 8.30 for just the mommies. Of course, you can have your kids, but we will not have our kids sitting on our laps that night. Hopefully. And 
So here we go. We've got Melody's cup oh, here. Nice. So it says Dad. Is that Lily's? She did Lily's? a little bit of. Oh wait, I'm sorry. This is Lily's. This is Lily's. So that's Lily's there. So we've got hers. Here's Mercy's. Mercy's. And here's Melody. Oh, Melody did hers all by herself. Yeah. So Kristen, can you remind us? That's, awesome. oh, that's amazing. Can you, Kristen, remind us exactly what we bought and how we made these? Yes. Yeah, so we got these big cups. mugs here. Um, then we got some painters markers um, that we have used. Four different kinds here. All from Walmart. Ooh. All from Walmart. I think about two dollars and. You can get mugs from two to five dollars there. Um, and what we want to do is we took this, our stickers here, and used them as stencils, put them on our mugs, and then colored all around them. The kids did that. And then we're going to put them in the, we pulled the stickers off, and we're going to put them in the oven and let them bake for a little bit and let that just set in there. And after that, we, so they will be hand washed only. Right. And not scrubbed. And not scrubbed. We have heard from our friends, you guys who are watching, have coached us along a little bit. Don't put them in the dishwasher or they're going to come out white. That would be awful. Um, yeah. Right. So we don't want to lose gently hand wash artwork. them. I know. So these were fun. These were actually not very expensive to make, and I I think that uh, daddies will appreciate this because it's something that they can use. So good job, daddies. Mm -hmm. And um, do we have anything else that we want to cover? Make sure to like our KidCast page, please. We love having you guys kind of follow what we're doing and um, message us and let us know what you think about things. If you have any crazy ideas for Kristen to do on right. Thursday night, <laughs> you excited? A, yeah. yeah. A, a 30 seconds to one minute event, like last time we had her uh, do a 50s dance to 50s music with absolutely no warning. But I did make her look really cute with a ponytail and a letter on her sweater and stuff like that. So um, we'll, we'll try not to embarrass her too badly. But you would have to message me personally. My personal Facebook is Christy Riddle McLaughlin. You can find me there. Because if you message KidCast, Kristen will know what the idea is. And then it will all.